Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? So in today's video, what I got for you is another tip video. Um, but this one is a little bit different. So it's not my gameplay you're seeing. It's going to be random players and uh, solos. So as the gameplay is going on, I'm going to give my commentary on what the people did right and what they did wrong in the background. So hopefully this, this video does help you guys. It is for like more beginner or like low level players. Um, but if this video does help, man, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to be pointing out the, the good things people do and the bad, right? So like I said, just laying down. Let this guy kill me. He's trying to get cracked on a player with no gun. Jump shot and I see you. All right. So right now, he has a dart. He's chilling, you know. He sees the guy under him. Right now, I will be scoping out a vest. Like, that is must needed right now. He's worried about guns and stuff. You need a vest, dog. But he jumps down. Like I said, I haven't seen this yet. He jumped down. I'm not too sure how he's going to play this out. Like I said, he has him on the dart. He could have just stayed up top. Like, he, he's playing with... All right, grab the vest, dog. There you go. All right, go get him, champ. All right, this man is playing the slow game, even though he has a, the dart on him. And you have a mark close quarters. Pop. One more. Not sure how that hit, but hey. Okay, he played that. He played that good. All right, so there was somebody here. So he was playing this. Not too sure if he heard him or not, because I don't hear any footsteps. So like, you really don't have an idea on if there is somebody in here. So maybe he did hear him. So let's say he did hear whoever that was. Me personally, I know you can go on top of this building. I would not push outside under this little doorway. Like that, I would go, I would walk away from the footsteps. So let's say, it's right here. Let's say I hear the footsteps. You know, I want to investigate. I would not go this direction. Let's use this map. I will walk out this way. I will walk out this way, right? Then try to get on top of one of these little, um, either the train cars or those, those roofs out there. Cause like he's walking towards the footsteps and you know, he could be above you. Wow, there you go. All right, so she heard the, the little fight over here and she sees him jump over. All right, right there. Right there, I would've saved my bullets. That was, that was dumb. She shot way too early. Now she let him know that she's near. Like the other player knew what he was doing. Could've got really ugly. Okay, I had no idea he was right there. I don't think she did either. Must have just seen him and, and shot him. Mm, I would not touch that bag. See, like I said, if this kid knew what he was doing, the person he just she just killed, if he knew what he was doing, she would be she would have been dead. So what I mean by that is, let's see, let's go back, let's take it back. So, at this point, she fires without even, like, attempting to get the kill. Because there's no way you're getting the kill that fast. Fire shots. He knows the direction of where the shots came from. He knows she's close, right? She pushes up. You can hear all of these footsteps from her. Tries to jump up, can't make it. So if I was the other kid right now, what I would be doing is sitting on the very top of this roof, looking down, tracking the footsteps, the sound of these footsteps. Okay, she heard that foot, she heard his footsteps. Now, by the time I hear those gunshots, I would have jumped across onto on top of this building that she's under just to get like some eyes on what's going on. And then maybe you would have seen her going for the loot bag and that would have been an easy kill. But the guy over there, he doesn't, he's lost in the sauce. All right, I hear footsteps. She heard him too, okay. Oh, this is risky. She gave up high ground. Hey, VK Hudson is aggressive. I like this, man, I like this. Aggressive, okay. He must still be uh, hurt. She 
She's not moving with too much urgency. Like, she's really taking her time. So, I mean, so is VK Hudson. Uh, that's like a really two passive players. Like, they're aggressive at the beginning, but became real passive. Ah, oh, she sees him. <laughs> My man said Skulker. You Skulker uses, bro. I can't stand y'all. But before we go on, let me point out what she did good. Let me point out what she did good. So, right here. She has no idea where he's at. He has no idea where she's at. So what she does is she just backs out of that whole fight completely. Just fall back, get eyes on the whole situation. Because you don't want to get snuck up on. Smart. I like that. So that's what she's doing. Falling back, getting eyes on the situation, and you see him right there. Because this little creeper, bro, if you would have stayed inside that building, he would have got you. Skulk, you can't hear that. It's like having Deddy. All right, we're pushing shots now. I see somebody on top of the hill. Uh, I'm not too sure if she does. Oh, we got a dart. I didn't even hear that dart. Easy kill. Get him out. I would not touch that bag yet, though. Too much action going around to be touching bags. That's one thing, man. You can't get too comfortable touching bags, y'all. Especially if you hear, like, a lot of gunfire around you. Nuh-uh. I don't know what she's doing, just standing here. Maybe sound horn? Okay. Yeah, she's sound horn footsteps. Oh, okay. Got a hit marker. I'm gonna break this down after. Just give me a second, y'all. Okay. Like, okay. Let's go back. Like, I'm playing music in my ear right now, so some footsteps I don't hear, and maybe she's hearing. All right, so right here, she hears footsteps. I, I know this movement right here. I did this shit all the time. You just pause, you hear footsteps, and she knows where it's at. Thought he was pushing, but he's not. He's far back. Hit him with a concussion. She tried to get the frag kill. It did not work. All right. So right now, what I would be doing is getting a high ground. High ground ASAP. When I say high ground, I mean on top of this building right here. And if you want to, if you say how, you can either jump from this car up top or from these steps right here. You can jump up or just open the door, you know. So right here, he has eyes on him and the guy he's shooting has a sniper, right? But the thing with snipers is it gets tricky because they can always have a frag grenade and you want to keep eyes on that. It's like you're fighting somebody, you never want to take your eyes off them. If they do have a sniper, it's tough. If you have a trophy system, throw it down. Then you can take breaks like this without seeing them. Even though I wouldn't recommend it. But in this case, he has level three, so I'm peeking this. I'm not letting my eyes off him. I want to see if he's throwing a frag grenade or if he's pushing. You you gotta know that type of stuff. Like at least peek peek like every every two seconds while you're healing. So what he's doing is just keeping high ground, keeping this little bit of protection if he needs it, which is smart. Still keeping eyes on, I like this, I like this. There you go, get the kill. Right now, if this was me, on the way running down, my eyes will be constantly scanning from out here all the way across. Like I'm constantly scanning for any movement if anybody sees me. He pushes across because the next zone is coming, which is smart. I like it. Now, if he wanted to, he could just sit on top of this building for now. All right, and then just give me a second. I'm about to pause a little bit. If I can get... All right, so right now, perfect. If I was him and we got a zone like this with some time left, I would be scanning for opponents, first of all. And then secondly, I would look in the zone and see where I can get cover at if I do push in the zone. Because one thing you don't want to do is go in the zone with no cover at all. So what this guy did really good is... Hold on. He didn't go touch that uh, trauma kit bag just yet. You know, he's still scoping out for people. And there you go. He gets the kill because he was being he was being paranoid. He was just looking around, making sure nobody was behind him. See if there's anybody out in the field. So that's a good job on him. And he's actually right there. He had him in the scope, but... Just didn't see him, I guess. 
We're just gonna skip ahead. Yeah, and he gets the kill. Alright, he sees him. Eventually he sees him. And gives him the gunny. GG's. 